guys, today we're going to talk about something super important. We're going to talk about your pre and post op kit so that you can get the best results possible. So, what is a pre and post op kit? So, over the years, I have collated a pre and post op kit so that this right here becomes what you need to eat and what you need to shower in and how you need to take care of yourself before surgery. So, let's start to the right. To the right, we have Hibiclans. It's chlorhexidine. It's better than any soap you can buy because it's actually bactericidal. Bactericidal means that the soap here will actually kill bacteria on contact. Bacteriostatic means that the soap will stop any more bacteria from growing. Silicone. This is just basic silicone gel. It's been around since the 60s. We use it on you starting at six weeks when all your incisions are closed and healing, and this will help you to make the scar less visible. The most important thing in this kit are the vitamins. You cannot buy these vitamins over the counter. These are bought by physicians in their offices by a company called Vitamedica. Vitamedica did a great thing and put thousands of percent of vitamins, including B12, B6, thiamine, and all kinds of the B complex, including C and zinc, and regular vitamins in there to increase your probability that these incisions stay closed, you don't spit sutures, and you keep your fat. You'll take this starting five days before and every day after. You'll take this starting, start to wash in this five days before and every day after. And on this one, you're actually going to put it in your shampoo and body wash and also your significant other shampoo and body wash. Protein. I like this protein because it has almost 30 grams of carb per scoop and only one gram of sugar. Why is protein necessary? Because look, when you're walking around and you're doing your own life, whatever your calories you take in is more than enough. But when I make a cut here, here, face, legs, upper body, lower body, arms, wherever, your, your body immediately wants to send calories to that area. We need to send protein to that area. So we need to increase your protein so that you can heal those incisions very quickly. This is Arnica. Arnica is for bruising and swelling. Arnica is mainly for the bruising side and is the one of the few actually herbals that I actually have seen studies on. So we use Arnica and Bromelin. Bromelin is for the swelling. Bromum you can actually find in pineapples and other plants that are like tropical. But we sell this as a kit for bruising and swelling. People love it. Surgilax. Surgilax is to go to the bathroom. Remember when we're giving you the antibody, the uh, narcotics, such as fentanyl or Norco or any of those other anti uh, these narcotics, you can get constipated. So starting on a bowel regimen five days before and every day after is key. Exosomes, I've harped on this before. These are stem cell messengers. And what's great about them is you get two billion of them in this, in these two bottles. One bottle is mixed with the other and then is either injected in the face, on top of the face after a procedure, and like a laser, a microneedling, any of those others. And you can also use them to preserve fat. So I use them a lot in BBLs. If you don't have a lot of fat or you just want to get the most fat that I can put in without it dying or losing most of the fat, then you use these exosomes and it appears to be helping. So there we go. There's my kit. We'll have this transcribed. This will be sent to you every time you have surgery. We appreciate you. And thanks for watching Behind the Mask. See you later.